this coming weekend over ninety cyclists will saddle up at the air base in comox and over two days ride all the way to the base in victoria each rider is sponsored and is riding to raise money to help men and women in uniform make a positive difference in the lives of others they are in boomers ride well how it originated the ride part was in september of 2007 we were doing our first gala event first fundraising event here in courtney and at the time one of andrew's um i guess he, he was a master warrant officer todd mcgowan decided that he would ride up from victoria to here and uh the week before the event happened but couldn't be that far he'd just been transferred out to victoria and he rode up on his own and told his buddies hey i'm going to a fundraiser help me raise some money that night he presented general hillier with a and myself with a check on stage and thanked General Hillier for being his opening act. And um, the ride went from there. Boomer's ride is in honor of Andrew Eichlenboom, a dedicated Canadian Forces medic killed in Afghanistan in 2006. Andrew was absolutely committed to saving lives and to helping our soldiers help others. It's one of those critical things because it adds um, a dimension for the soldier uh, that's out in the field to allow them to access funds to do a humanitarian project or an aid project that they don't have to go through the bureaucracy of DFATE and CEDA or the Canadian International Development Agency or Foreign Affairs. You know, the money is available to them through their unit. Basically, the task force has a, uh, an access to the funds that Boomer's Legacy raises and they see a project, it could be a well for a village, it could be a child needing a, a specific operation, say a cleft palate or something that they wouldn't be able to get in their village. It could be um, school desks or books or, you know, classroom supplies for a school. So soldiers are out in the village, they see this and they go, hey, we could do something here. And it's not going to be a whole lot of money, we get some funds and we can make an immediate impact. So that raises a couple of things. It's good for the soldiers, good for their spirits, because it's something different. It's, it's empowering to them. It's good for the villagers, because they get something that they wouldn't normally have, have been able to access, that kind of funds. And it builds a certain amount of trust between the soldiers and trust between soldiers and the villagers. And if you want to look at it from a Canadian perspective, it's a little bit of what Canada is all about, right? For 88-year-old Doug Yo who is a World War II veteran, the challenge was irresistible and the cause is worthy. Get involved. It's, it's, it's just a wonderful thing to be able to do, to uh, do something for Boomer's legacy. And when you're, when you're doing that, you're keeping Boomer's spirit and memory alive. Making a donation could not be easier. Click on boomerslegacy.ca, pick your writer and support Boomer's Ride. For The Daily, I'm Rick Monroe.